What's going on everybody? Welcome to the Best Family Homestead. And I feel like a real sack of poop right now. I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Uh, so it's a Sunday and I told myself this morning or yesterday, like, okay, I'm sleeping in in the morning. I hadn't been sleeping real well. You know, I'm just going to chill out and rest. I don't plan on doing much of anything. I don't think I'd taken a day where I didn't do anything for months. I don't, I don't remember. I guess the last thing, last time I really didn't do anything would probably be when I was on the trail and went fishing uh, a few times. And even then, the not do anything included hours and hours and miles and miles of walking just to go fish but here we are and now it's uh getting late in the afternoon and i couldn't do it i know i've got to do something so i am going to do something that i need to do to continue the fence uh as well as uh fix the driveway so i've got this pole saw here and my dad gave this to me because the chainsaw that this went to broke and it wouldn't work at all with his other chainsaw. You can see he's already modified the end there because the what one it was made for had splines and this and my chainsaw and his chainsaw has a square tip. So he's already taken that square and made that square. Copper Whopper. And a lot of you guys have uh, talked about. No, I haven't seen Copper. Is Copper okay? Copper is just fine. It just happens that a lot of the stuff I've been doing the past few days has been all on the tractor. And Copper is terrified of the tractor. Or not terrified of the tractor. Copper thinks he can get on the tractor even when I'm moving. So uh, it's hard to keep him contained and i have plans and i have stuff to make him a like a rider a ride on for it uh however he got a lot bigger than i thought he was going to really so i want to modify those plans oh speaking of the devil and panda of course you know panda was just in the yard but panda bears panda bear panda bear panda bear is a pretty good girl she is very cautious of the tractor and runs away when I start it and uh, she also doesn't chase chickens or kill chickens or cats or anything like that so when she gets out I just leave her out then she'll go back in the thing is I don't want her to get hit by a car uh, or stolen because she's so friendly and so cute someone would take her off uh, even though she doesn't know how to open the front door. So she'll get out the yard in the back. Uh, you'll be sitting there, all of a sudden, boom! There, the front door will open. She'll open the screen door and the main door, and she comes in. But Mimi follows Panda's lead, unfortunately, and Mimi does kill cats and does kill chickens. So I have to get it fixed where Mimi can't get out. Anyway, Aaron's rant, or rambling for the day. So you can see this is one of the other attachments and how it has a square square tip that's already taken care of but where our uh hold down notch is on my weed eater is round and on this weed eater is square so all i really need to do is grab my drill and the drill bit and make a square hole a round hole and then I should be able to get slip this in and get the trimming. Because where I'm putting the fence next to the woods and in the woods, uh, I don't feel like getting my head ripped off by low hanging branches. So I need to clear all that down the line where I'm going to be using the tractor. Well, I think I've talked quite enough. Let me go grab my drill and everything and we're going to get started on this. This stuff is great. This is the original. I like the tick shield better, but it's made out of cedar wood oil, so it's all natural. 
it doesn't smell horrific like regular bug spray. Uh, works pretty good. Okay, so I thought I'd had this thing in there before, but I guess not. And the hole is, or this pipe is just maybe a thousandth of an inch uh, too big. So I brought out the big guns and shouldn't take but a second to get this thing nice and round and ready to go. Track down some uh, bar oil. It's just like a mini chainsaw. Got the bar oil in it. And go see if it works. Alright, we're going to see if this uh, little thing will work. Kind of rigged up here. Uh, oh, have you guys heard the, me yelling at Panda? Yeah, I definitely got to get that fence built now. 
she's never ever attacked a chicken and she's a little over two years old and she went after one chicken's okay though uh she just pulled out it's got a little bare spot uh dogs can be under unpredictable that's why i never leave her outside alone so that i can catch stuff like this all right now here is what i need to here's what i need to trim up you see how low these are they're starting to scratch my wife's newish car and uh livery trucks can't get in here and stuff so we're gonna give this thing a shot see if we can't get some of these some of these branches out Also got a little bit of adjusting to do on it, but what do you think, honey? What do you think? Oh no, I cut it. Somebody else gets to drag it. Yeah, the ones growing over it. Yeah, I'll get more of them. No, I will. I'm just gonna bring a tractor over here. Okay. I gotta hurry. She's making fettuccine alfredo, garlic sauce, and zucchini and asparagus. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll take these, uh, take all these leaves to the goats. That will make them super happy. So let me go get the tractor and uh, we'll take them out there. They're gonna really like this. Yeah, and now that I walk over here, I feel even more guilty. Should have been out here working on this dang fence all day. Hey, what can you do? But you can see where uh, my hole's right there, so. This pole saw is, is gonna be critical because my line's gonna go that way. And you can see how many limbs I get my brain smashed in if I went down that way. And I'm impressed. Uh, where has that pole? So I haven't fixed that earlier. Still need to do a little adjusting. That's in there really tight. So I'm going to spin it out. And you saw the little nub kept uncatching to spin it. So a uh, couple minutes of adjustment work. And that'll be good. Won't take me, take me too long. Yeah, you've heard me say that before, huh? All right, let's go uh, feed the goats. I've seen a lot of people asking about, where's the goats? Why don't you get goats? We'll go feed them some leaves. You can see them if you haven't seen them. I can confirm that they're still here if you have seen them. And the reason I don't use the goats, like for all this, the property line is almost where I'm putting the fence, right where the row of cedars is. And I'll show you the old cedar fence post line, the live cedar fence. Uh, so I couldn't turn them in there 
and in the back my goats do go to the road apparently they think even when it's really hot they think the road is the best thing ever and they will be laying in the middle of the road we'll get calls your goats are out i'm like yeah okay no they're fine they usually stay in our yard oh uh, no they're laying in the middle of the road so i don't want them to get out since i don't have any more billies uh i've got the fence over there fixed haven't had them get out well i did once but it's because i forgot to latch the gate um so as i start getting this hardwire fence built and keep going with it i'll be able to give them pretty much a run of the property yeah, ADD. Uh, so let's go feed the goats. Probably should have put the forks on. Oh well. Uh, now you can, can see a lot better this rock wall here. I have no idea. I don't think, it's nowhere near original to the house because the original road was behind the house. Uh, but then around 1840, 50, a little bit before Civil Wars, when this road came through, I'm pretty sure. And so that's when they, would change the entrance here. Uh, they're definitely really old. Um, you can see, probably when they used to farm the land, they needed something to do with these big massive rocks. So they just leaned them up and, you know, it would have been used to, they would have all looked like this. But now the mud and dirt and stuff has pushed them back. So that's on the to-do list for this winter. Uh, I'm going to jerk all these stupid privets out and cut them like I have been and I have some very very pretty crepe myrtles around here crepe myrtles are one of my prettiest trees because you can either make them grow up or you can use them as shrubs and let them go out uh, and this is really sunny right here this old pear tree here is going out. Uh, some people have said, no, you can't get rid of the pear tree. No, this pear tree sucks. The only good thing is the chickens like it. These pears, even when they're like, it, they fall off the tree and I put them in the freezer for a day and take them out. Now they're like, well, listen, like baseball hard. Like you heard that smack those things are hard as a rock so i'm pretty sure it's just an ornamental pair so let's get uh back here and give these goaties some leaves yeah add uh it's almost that time of year to propagate crepe myrtles late fall is a great time i'll propagate them in a terrarium type deal i'll show you guys how to build and by next spring they'll be really they should be pretty good size they'll be you know a couple foot high and that will let me fill in once i fix the rocks i'll go back a little bit and it'll be crepe myrtles all the way down uh probably will leave the big cedar uh, but then everything else except for that crepe myrtle which i'll probably leave it but everything else all the way down through here will be crepe myrtles that i can intertwine together as they grow and uh, braid them and make like a solid wall and i'll keep them trimmed to edge height so and crepe myrtles are like for like one gallon crepe myrtles are like 30 bucks crepe myrtles are expensive so that will let me put in by propagating them three 
probably more than that, probably like six or seven hundred dollars for the money I'll save just by taking a little bit of time and cutting some new growth trimmings and starting them. Now let's go feed the goats. Here are my ladies. What doing girls? They don't really like the tractor. And as you can see, they've eaten their part pretty clean. So they don't get a lot of leaves anymore. And I have been kind of bad about cutting them. I used to always cut them. Leaves. They're coming. Now, those are some happy goaties. What you doing, lady? What you doing, Gigi? Esme, Daphne. I don't think I ever named a little one there. Stella. No. Darla. That's Darla. I did uh, downsize the herd a little bit. Definitely got rid of all the billy goats. And because I haven't been able to, I've been busy, 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 uh, and the walk and everything, I hadn't been able to fence like back in those hardwoods and everything yet and fence all you know everything else like the pasture and stuff so it was costing me to just for the goats not including the other animals i was spending about twenty dollars a day on hay and feed uh yeah so around six hundred ish dollars a month and that's just the goats, not including the dogs, chickens, peacocks, cats. Cats are right up there on that assessment too. 
and I cut back on the numbers because numbers right there will be very good. Now that the, all those leaves, all those branches, by the morning, uh, those those there'll be sticks. <laughs> it's nothing. They go through some food. So as soon as I get done with the shop and chinking the house, winter time's better for this anyway. All these are going to be cut to make one big pasture. Then I'll be able to uh start fencing back there so that they can have more to eat and the more natural food they have to eat the less I'll have to buy um, now just a straight pasture doesn't do much good goats won't really eat grass that much they'll eat the top they'll eat just the tops of it but that's it like you can see there's a lot like if sheep were in there you can see well, there's a bunch of weeds and stuff in there but goats won't eat anything they poop on. They're actually pretty picky when it comes to that. Uh, anything on the ground, they don't really like to eat. So see, I do have goats. I still have my goats. There's not as many goats. And actually, Esme's pregnant. So we'll be having a baby here soon. All right, everybody. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. I hear my wife hollering for dinner. Coming! Good timing. Well, make sure and like, subscribe, and share. And uh, especially subscribe. If you want to see any of these projects ever get finished. So, tomorrow morning, bright and early. Bright and early. We're going to be starting some working out. And then I'm going to be getting on that fence. I'm going to be getting on that fence. Oh. Well, have a good evening.